If you need market data for buying or selling property, then I'm going to show you how to legally scrape public sales listings from the Realtor.com API without violating their terms of service. To access the Realtor.com API, we can use their website. We're just gonna use it normally and it will interact with their API and we'll be able to scrape data from that network traffic interception. I just did a quick search for houses in Miami and this is very important. You need to make sure you click on this map switch, otherwise you won't be able to intercept the Realtor.com API traffic. This forces Realtor.com to send this housing data as JSON instead of baked in HTML as before. Now to get access to that JSON, right click on the page in a white area and hit inspect. This will open up developer tools, which will now begin recording your network traffic. And the window resize triggered an API call, which I can see right here if I filter the results by search underscore. So now I can see this raw JSON data of 200 homes that Realtor.com sent to my browser all in beautiful structured JSON format, just prime for scraping. And because we're not using an illegal screen scraper, we can use any of these regular features on the website like any of these filters up here. You can select the property type you want, the listing status if you only want foreclosures, and filter this down exactly to the type of land you're looking to buy or sell. In order to scrape all of the listings in Miami, I just pan around the map and Realtor will automatically keep reloading more and more of this data into my browser. I can see each payload is about 200 homes and I keep getting this into my browser that I'm recording the data of so I can extract this later on. And if I wanna hone in on a particular area, like let's say I wanna scrape all of the listings in Miami Beach, I just zoom in the map and pan around. And now I slowly pan up so I sweep and get all of these listings in Miami Beach. I can verify I'm getting all of them when I look at some of these network requests and look at the number of listings loaded, I'm getting under 200, 158. That means the Realtor.com API is returning everything it has based on my zoom level, which is great. Now to get this out of the browser, I click this button here called Export HAR under the Network tab, and this will download a HAR file containing all that JSON Realtor.com sent to my browser. To parse this file, head to the link in the description to my no-code Realtor.com API scraper with HAR files. I also did a quick write-up if you prefer to follow along in text instead of by video. Now you just need to grab your HAR file from the desktop or downloads folder and drag and drop it into this tool. It will auto-magically combine all of the related requests together, these 17 ones that were served to us as we browse the map with all of that housing data. It will allow us to download the raw data here absolutely free. You don't even need to sign up for an account. That way you can process it if you're comfortable with JSON. Or if you'd rather not waste time, click this parse group here and our service will convert the JSON into downloadable CSV files combined together. So I could download all 3,000 listings I browsed through that map here with just one click. This is freemium by the way. You can download 10 rows of data for free per day. And one thing to be aware of in this combined CSV file is because it spans 17 of those different requests we made to the map, it's going to have duplicates because as we panned around the map, there were some overlapping areas. So let me just show you what I mean. If I sort this by this permalink column, I can see these three rows here have the same permalink and the same ID in column A. So before you do any sort of market analysis, like figure out the median sales price, you want to deduplicate by the permalink would be my suggestion. And what's also nice about the permalink is we can use it to browse any of these listings on Realtor.com. Just click on any listing on Realtor.com and then paste in that permalink in the last part of the URL behind the last slash and it will jump to that listing. All right, let's walk through all these columns so you guys can get an idea of the data you'll get back before you go ahead and try to do this. So here we can see the listing or asking price of each listing, which is probably the most important field to know about. This Matterport column is kind of cool. Some of these listings have this Matterport virtual 3D scan that you can browse. So I paste in the permalink, I can check this out and click on the 3D tour. And this here is a Matterport load. You can see it on the bottom, powered by Matterport and I can invade this person's home in virtual reality. So I can click around and go into the living room and I wanna to go to the bar back there. So if I click there, it'll jump me all the way back here. So this may be useful if you're looking for Matterport only listings. I'm not sure if that field is available on realtor.com, but when you scrape all the listings, that becomes irrelevant because you can just do your own filtering and analysis in Excel. Here's the list date so we can figure out how many days this has been on the market. These look pretty recent, which is good. Pretty typical in Miami. And here's a low resolution photo of the listing, which isn't very helpful. 
A lot of these columns are a little bit specific to Realtor.com, so if you're a heavy Realtor.com user, you may recognize a few fields that I'm glossing over. Let me know in the comments. This source type looks interesting. It looks like it gets the listings from either MLS or if it's a new home builder. And we can see the name of the real estate agent over here. So this one's Compass, Coldwell Banker. And if it's a new home builder, that information is available towards the right. We'll get to that shortly. All right, here's the actual housing data, like number of beds, number of bathrooms, and the square footage of the listing. We can also see the lot square footage, I guess if it's an entire home versus an apartment. And here's the type of listing, so condo, single family, townhouse, mobile home, etc. You can also see the price of when it was last sold. So this was last sold in 1989, I'm assuming for a little bit less money. This is kind of cool. You can see a URL to the Google Maps Street View. If you enjoy spying on people, this makes it really convenient. And here's the actual street address. I know MLS isn't crazy about people scraping this data, but here we are, so have fun and be responsible with this data. Do not republish it. And some other little bits of information like the county name, zip code, neighborhood, and you can see if it's a new listing or not, if there's been a price reduction, that could be very useful if you're looking to get a good deal and someone's desperate. It's a new condition, if it's a pending sale, et cetera. So a few of these flags may be helpful. This link here will jump you to a virtual tour if one is available. So I don't know why this would be useful. Maybe if you provide virtual tours, you wanna look for listings that don't have one and offer to help them create one. And again, here's the information about either the builder or the broker if available. So we can see here on one of these lower listings that we have the new builder uh, over here and we can see the office hours of that builder. We also get a phone number of the person advertising it. Sometimes this will give you a phone number to the community or the leasing agent. It just depends on the listing type. So you can scrape this for yourself and see what's going on. And here's the website to the builder in case we wanna see if they have a website. So that's basically it. I think you guys will mostly be interested in the pricing and address information, but what do I know? I'm not a real estate investor. I'm actually homeless as I travel the world. So let me know in the comments what fields you find useful and not so much. Or if you're into real estate investing, what other data sources would be helpful for me to show you how to scrape? Thank you so much for watching and watch this video next on scraping Redfin data, which you may find useful for gathering more real estate investing data. Have a wonderful day.